those big, beautiful rainbows. That's what trolling flies can do. You think trolling flies don't work? Well, think again. You need to grab a set of my trolling flies, get out on the water, and get ready to go big. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Hey guys, Cal Kellogg here. I'm gonna tell you right off the top. This video is gonna get me in trouble but I don't care. Um, when you're an outdoor communicator, you know, there's a kind of a, a list of guidelines or the unwritten rules you're supposed to follow. And if you don't follow those, eh, you can get in trouble. But I've been doing this for about 16 years. Let me, let me tell you a little story about getting in trouble. I'll keep this short, but it's going to il illustrate my point and then you'll understand why this video I'm doing today is going to get me in trouble. Um, about 10 years ago, I was writing an article about striper trolling in the California Delta out there the the number one lure is the yozuri crystal minnow cost about 16 bucks a piece awesome lure i love the lure i said the article i love the lure i caught my biggest ever striper 28 pounds on a yozuri crystal minnow so i'm a fan but i observed in the article that you could get two p-line predators for the cost of one one crystal minnow absolutely fact true at the time not sure about the pricing now but that was a fact then the people at Yozuri they didn't care if it was a fact they absolutely flipped their wheels and uh, you know they got the vapors they pulled their ad from a magazine uh, they sent me a terse email they wouldn't even talk to us for about five years so some sensitive feelings in the fishing world you think oh my so this isn't gonna be very popular I have a lot of tackle. That means I need a lot of places to store tackle. And uh, when you go online or go to the store and you look at tackle management systems from people like, you know, Shimano, whoever, they are extremely expensive, way more than I'm willing to pay. Now I do have some, you know, commercially manufactured quality fishing tackle storage stuff, basically. Um, I'm thinking of my Ego Pack right now. It cost me about 160 bucks. It's an awesome fishing backpack, but I got it primarily because it's a backpack. Um, and stuff goes in there neatly, more neatly than I could put it in one of my hunting backpacks. So I felt that was worth the investment. I also like to buy the, uh, the rust-proof compartment boxes, whether they're from Flambeau or Plano or whoever, I don't care who makes them, but I do like those rust-proof compartment boxes. They just save me a lot of headaches, you know, with, with rusty gear if I forget to dry out my gear or whatever. So, but by and large, I don't buy tackle storage systems from fishing companies because they're too dang expensive, and I'm gonna say the words, they're a ripoff. Okay, it's the same storage stuff you can buy at a hardware store, more or less. It's just three times the price. Exhibit A. You've seen this on the kayak. You, you've seen me beat the ever living crap out of fish with this thing. You've seen me drop it. I've got a tether on it. I need that so I don't lose it. It's just a Home Depot double sided like a nail and screw box. I mean, I guess you could put whatever you want in it, but it's just a very durable double-sided box. And guess what? Because it's made for nails and screws, they're heavy. So it's pretty well constructed. I've not had a problem. Drilled a hole in it right there, put a big couple big heavy duty zip ties in there. That's where I attach the tether. Probably, I wanna say I paid, I think they're $15 now because I was checking them out the other day. I think I paid 12 bucks for this. You go find yourself a commercially produced double-sided quadruple latch compartment box that's as durable as this for 15 bucks in the fishing department, you've done something. That's quite the achievement. Let's see what else I got here. I just picked this up the other day. I wanted something compact that offered storage, that offered some insulation, and was basically waterproof to strap on the back of my kayak uh, chair. I can't have anything too big, because that back deck is Lucy's area, and I don't want to crowd her. I don't want to protrude into her area. I mean, sometimes we're on the kayak for eight hours. I want her to be as comfortable as possible, and that means I got to keep all my gear from the seat forward. So I was at Target the other day, just picking up some bathroom stuff and some whatnot, and I saw this on sale for $9. Not only is it cool looking, it's a genuine egg glue. This is a lunch cooler, but check it out. Here in the front, 
got a pocket. Step back a little bit here, where I keep my oh, my TP. Got to have that. When when you gotta go, you gotta go. Now inside here in the main compartment, I've got a bunch of gulp and a little compartment box and stuff there. I can also keep my worms in here and an ice pack in here because again, it's an insulated cooler. It's not a tackle box. It has a cool shoulder strap, has a little handle, and it has another pocket right here where I've got a bunch of flies and stuff like that. It's got some mesh in there. So the bottom line is, this is a, a waterproof, compact, tackle management system that's insulated, that's waterproof, that I paid about 10 bucks for at Target. Can you imagine what this would cost if it had the, the Shimano label on it? This would be $40 probably. So there's that. I could stick my camera right here on the side. If I want to grab my handheld camera, I could stick my sunglasses in there. Whatever, it's just a lot of versatility for a, a very small investment. And here's my final box. I've showed this on the channel before. I just got this. This here cost me $24. It's a DeWalt. It's a stackable um, toolbox. And it's got trays in here. It's got drawers. Let me pop one out for you. And they're, they latch. There's a latch underneath there. So pull out the drawer. And in this one, I have some big plugs. I have some jigs. I have some stuff like that. I have more TP. You never know when you got to go, guys. This goes underneath my kayak seat and these drawers, I can reach down, I can pull them out, I can get leader material. I've got my downrigger releases in there. I've got my big giant sets of flashers in there. I've got some big dodgers in there and stuff like that. Bottom line is, is this is gonna strap underneath the seat of the Hobie and it's gonna live there permanently. Um, but like I say, I got this for $24. How much would something like that designed specifically for a Hobie kayak cost? That's, that would cost you like $100. So anyway, I've got 24 in this box, 12 in the other box, that's 36 plus 10, $46. I've got three tackle boxes and not one of them was designed or sold for storing fish and tackle. But guess what? All three of them are full of fish and tackle. The tackle's great, I'm great, my wallet's in great shape. So it's just a good deal all the way around. So my tip today is remember, if you're looking for tackle storage solutions, don't go to the tackle shop. Go to the hardware store. You're gonna get more bang for your buck. You're gonna get some very durable storage containers. They're not gonna let you down when the going gets tough. And uh, once again, you're gonna save a significant amount of money. I'll bet you you'll get all your, your tackle storage you know, solutions for, for half of what you'd pay at the tackle shop probably you're gonna save about 60%, I would say. So anyway, that's my thought. Get your tackle management stuff at the hardware store. Get your tackle at the tackle shop. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. I am signing off for now. And remember, if you're looking for tackle that you'll need to store later, go over to my store, fishhuntshoot.com. You can buy a bunch of, bunch of spoons and dodgers and stuff, and then you can go to Home Depot and get a new tackle box and stick all that stuff away. I'm Cal Kellogg. I'm joking a little bit. I am out of here. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. Please subscribe, guys. And I sincerely want to thank you guys for all the support you've given the channel over the years. I'm out of here.